A profile is an Oracle OS Management Hub resource used during registration of OCI compute instances, systems in private data centers, or systems in supported third-party cloud. As these instances are registered with Oracle OS Management Hub, the profile can assign OS software sources, lifecycle stage membership, or group membership. A profile is only used for registration. After an instance registers, the profile no longer has any effect on the instance. Service provided profiles are sets of basic profiles. Service provided profiles can be found in the root compartment and are used to register OCI located instances running Windows OS. At this time, you cannot move, edit, or delete these service provided profiles. There are no service provided profiles for Oracle Linux OS. User defined registration profiles can be created for Oracle Linux OS. These profiles can assign specific software sources, assign instances to, to a stage in a lifecycle environment, or assign an instance to a group. Profiles can also be designated as default profiles. These default profiles are used when instances with matching OS vendor, OS version, and architectures are registered and no profile is selected. All default profiles reside in the root compartment. A profile can be used to register multiple instances, but an instance can only be registered with one profile. Profiles are specific to instance location, like OCI, private data centers, or supported third-party cloud. This video will cover navigating to the profile resource in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console, viewing profiles in a compartment, viewing service profiles and default profiles in the root compartment, creating a user-defined profile, accessing and managing profile details, and reviewing profiles for their contents for use during instance registration. Let's get started. Go to the main Oracle Cloud Infrastructure menu, and then go to Observability and Management. Under the OS Management Hub section, click Profiles. Let's review the Profile Resource page for a non-root compartment first. On the screen, we can manage all profiles in the selected compartment. We can create, delete, select, and search for different profiles. Profiles are all listed with their name, description, profile type, OS version, and architecture. We can also change compartments using the list scope selector. Next, let's view the root compartment profiles. Let's use the list scope to switch to the root compartment. The root compartment is where all service and default profiles reside. There is an additional column that distinguishes default profiles from non-default profiles. We can also modify which profiles are used as default by finding the profile and clicking on the action menu on the right, and then clicking Set as Default Profile. Now let's create a profile. Click Create to open the Create Profile panel. In the panel, enter name, enter description, select the location, OCI for compute instances, or private data center and supported third-party cloud for non-OCI located systems. If you select private data centers and supported third-party cloud, then select the compartment where the management station resides, and then select the management station that will communicate with OS Management Hub and the instances assigned to the profile. Next, select the software source type for the profile. Select OS vendor, select OS version, and select architecture. If you are creating this profile in the root compartment, then the set as default profile option appears. By selecting set as default, any instance that matches OS vendor version and architecture and does not specify another profile when registering, will use this profile. For software source profiles, ensure you have added vendor software sources and make sure that you have the correct compartment selected as software sources are compartment specific resources. If you select a compartment that has no software sources in it, then the table will display with no options. The OS vendor version and architecture selections act as a search criteria. The software source table now displays options that meet that criteria. Use the search feature if your software source selection returns multiple pages. Select the software sources that you want this profile to assign to instances at the time of registration. A group is a collection of instances that is managed and updated together. A group profile assigns an instance to a group at the time of registration. For group profiles, ensure you've created the group prior, and then select the compartment that the group resource resides in, and select the group from the list. For lifecycle environment profiles, ensure you've created the lifecycle environment and its stages. Select the compartment that the lifecycle resides in, select lifecycle environment, and then select the stage. 
A lifecycle profile assigns instances to a lifecycle stage in a lifecycle environment. If you'll be registering instances to all stages of a lifecycle, then a separate profile will be needed for each stage. Now let's review a profile's details. Select a profile on the Profiles Details page. We can view profile information, edit basic details, use the Move resource to move the profile to a different compartment, and view associated resources. During registration of systems that are located in private data centers and supported third-party cloud, a profile's contents are copied into the OSMH profile file on the system being registered as an instance with OS Management Hub. A profile's contents can be copied by clicking View and then copying this content. During registration of compute instances located in OCI, profiles are selectable. For more information on creating or managing profiles or registering an instance with OS Management Hub, visit the Oracle documentation. Thank you.